Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Um, I thought I'd talk about uh, another topic that we, we're getting quite a lot of inquiries, and that's multiple applicants uh, looking to get a mortgage. So that's three or four applicants at a time. Uh, we're seeing a lot more of this, especially around London, where affordability is obviously an issue. Um, we've got uh, whether there's family members buying together or just friends buying together. There are a lot more uh, clients looking to band together to for affordability reasons or for depo deposit reasons, they're looking to buy together. Now, what's so different? I mean, this, these type of mortgages have been around for a long, long time, um, but we've seen an emergence of uh, new sort of ways of looking at affordability. And, and one of the main reasons why people are looking to buy together is because of affordability. Um, traditionally, those, those lenders that were around, that were lending to more than two applicants, um, they used to have rules whereby they could take 100% of the first applicant and the second applicant's income, but maybe a percentage, maybe 50% of the third and fourth applicants. So um, what's happened, what's changed is we're seeing a lot more lenders uh, come into the sort of frame where they will actually use 100% of all four applicants incomes. So that's a really, really good uh, sort of way of uh, helping with affordability. We've got lenders that will go up to 90% loan to value uh, on, on these type of schemes. Um, you've got different types of uh, profiles as well. Obviously, there's four people looking to buy together and maybe two of them are employed, two of them are self-employed. So uh, we've got lenders that were willing to take uh, the, the, the obviously the employed income 100%, but the self-employed income, we've got lenders that will go by last year's income alone, rather than the sort of traditional averaging the last two years and working that out. So some people could have a very good year, for example, and um, you know they wanna go by the last year's income instead to help with affordability. Um, there's also lenders that will look at sort of non-standard cases, obviously non-standard occupation, property types, um, as well as things like if you've got problems with your credit, um, you know, there's four people, so three of them could be great. One of them might not be as good. So uh, there are lenders that will look at that and um, uh, will take a view around uh, past history. Um, so there's a lot of movement within this sector. As lenders look to sort of look for margins, they're looking at sort of alternative ways of um, getting business and this is one of them and we certainly as a brokers we're receiving a lot more inquiries we're dealing with a lot more obviously it's more onerous because from the application process side of things uh, I need to have a conversation with all four of you and um, there is going to be uh, documentation signed from uh, received and signed from everybody we're going to need to do your ID verification so it's really four applicants you know four applications so um, it's really important that everybody's in the loop um, because you don't want Chinese whispers. Everyone has to be clear on, you know, this is the type of mortgage you're going for, the benefits of it and the disadvantages of it, because there are some disadvantages. For example, um, if it's a family buying, so mother, father, two children, what happens if the children want to get married and buy their own properties? Well, they're stuck into this mortgage. So there are potential pitfalls that, you know, people don't necessarily think about when they're looking to buy a buy a property now but what would happen in three years time five years time what can is is the dynamics can the other three people take over in terms of maybe the balance is lower maybe you've got other assets you, you can be selling to sort of get that other person off the mortgage so it's really important you speak to a professional on this because like i said it's not just about getting a mortgage now it's about securing that mortgage for the future and how uh, things will change the remortgage processes, the product selection that you go for, um, you know, is very, very much dependent on each circumstance, client circumstances. So um, hopefully you found this useful. Um, for, you know, we, we're around at www.nicheadvice.co.uk or you can phone us on 0207 993 2044. And we're certainly here to give you some uh, advice around that. This was just a little bit of information to say, look, these are the things that we are coming across and this is how we're helping clients. Thank you so much. I hope you found the video useful. One more important thing I have to mention with all of these videos and everything that we've got on our website and, and on the YouTube channels is getting a mortgage is a serious thing, okay? If you fail uh, to keep up your repayments uh, on your mortgage, you could be in danger of getting repossessed. So it's really, really important that you think about a mortgage as a long-term 
thing, okay? It's not for one year, it's not for two years. You may have affordability now, you may not have it later on. So it's really, really important. You think about getting a mortgage, it's a very serious thing. You wanna make sure you keep the property that you're buying. If you do find yourself in difficulty, the first point of course should be to contact your existing lender, to see what they can do for you, ask for help. There are professional advisors that could help you around this thing because it's really important you keep on top of things rather than sort of putting things away and, and, and putting them in the background because uh, uh, like I said, it's your livelihood and it's your roof over your head. So please, please try to keep up repayments with your mortgage. That should be all of our goals. Thank you.